Got a whole pile of interior parts and an empty trunk. Got it down to bare metal. Took the rear seats out too, mainly just to protect them. Nothing's gonna be going there, but getting in and out of the car with tools, sanding, everything else. I don't wanna mess up the seats, so. Took them out, got the rear deck off, got the whole back seat assembly out. So it's completely empty. This trunk is definitely huge. Should fit the uh, four Sundown U10s really well. Definitely excited about this build. Now just to uh, move this whole pile of crap and start getting some wood in the trunk, start getting figured out what I'm gonna do and uh, I'll be back again. So I'm about, I don't know, two hours into designing and so far this is V1 of a start of what I might do. So this being right here, this is the front of the trunk right here. This would be the back. Probably gonna do either some viewing windows up here or viewing windows here across the back to view the subs. The uh, motors are gonna be facing into the ported section, just better for cooling. Um, also, you can smell whether your woofers are getting too hot. So we're gonna be putting the motors inside the ported section keeping the cones on the inside of the sealed. So I think it'd be cool to do some plexi windows here or on the top so you can view the uh, cones moving when it's playing. Obviously you still got to make room for the Sundown 7500 and the limitless lithium battery going in there. So we don't want to go, uh, go too deep. So that's why I'm kind of going more of a complicated shape so I could save some depth and have room for equipment. Here's what we got so far. I'll uh, bring you guys back up in a few hours, see where I'm at then. It may or may not look like this, may, completely, may be completely changed by the time uh, I come back to you guys, but here's the design so far. Again, four Sundown U10s, Sundown 7500 for power. All right, so this is actually the next day. I'm working on this design for probably like four hours. This is what I came up with. This will be the basic layout. This is the back of the trunk. This will be the front right here. Do two plexi windows in the back, two on the top, and then two in the front. Now we just gotta start cutting pieces, putting them in the trunk. All right, so now we got our first pieces cut and put in. Got the floor, that's the first layer there. That's the second layer of the floor. Here we're working on the top of the enclosure right now. I'm cutting out the side corner where it goes around the wheel wells. This thing fits really nice actually. So far so good. After I get these top pieces cut, I'm going to start cutting the sides. I already got a new idea for uh, the loading wall or the front uh, part of the loading wall, the fourth order, but I'll share that a little later down the road. Don't want to spoil that. Um, probably be in a few further episodes, do something with all this plexiglass I just got, but it'll be really cool. Well, off to cut more pieces. I'll be back when I get um, the top cut and a few of the side pieces cut. Maybe we can even get a rough shape of this enclosure going for today and uh, get some progress made. We got the base in, the floor does taper a little bit to the back end, so the back has to have a inch and a half uh, spacer on the bottom, whereas the front only has the three quarter. Still gonna be doing the second layer. Going over that though, got the one layer there. Still gotta do the cutout there for the fuel pump. This is the other bottom piece, the second layer of the bottom. I'm getting all the pieces cragged in using my Craig jig, getting them all put in. Uh, just right now, I am just putting screws so I can get the holes kind of pre-drilled in there. Then I'm going to take it all back apart and start reassembling it in the trunk to make sure it works there. Um, this process does take a lot of time. It's a lot of putting together, taking apart, putting together, taking apart. But it's worth it in the end because then everything fits. Everything it goes in as planned and you don't have any major headaches to deal with. So lots more work to go. I'll get back with you guys 
in a little bit. All right, the top right now is just placed on there. Nothing screwed in, got these angle sides cut. This is right here, the front of the enclosure. It's got to taper along with the trunk. As you can see, the front gets smaller as it goes down, or however you wanna say that. There's definitely a big angle there, so that angle should somewhat match that there. Um, and then I'm going to now take this all apart and start trying to reassemble it in the trunk. Hopefully it all fits, but we might have to trim and modify some pieces, but here we go. I'll be back. All right, so here's where we're gonna leave it off for this episode. Got a lot of stuff put in the trunk. Got the side pieces cut. These cutouts are right here for the, um, the tire well. Kind of goes into the first layer of three quarters. So I did a cutout there. And on that side, you can see I already got the second layer on the first part. Um, where you can see the cutout gets smaller. I'll probably finish that off either with fiberglass or I might just throw an additional 45 right there. I'm not sure. Got both the layers on the bottom, bottom platform done. This thing's definitely gonna look amazing. I really already like the, the way this looks here. This looks super cool. I'm gonna try to keep it as open as possible. Um, <clears throat> I've already decided to make some changes to the design I showed you guys, but We'll get more coming to you and you'll see more of that on uh, further episodes. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the video, uh, drop comments below, let me know what you think. And uh, don't, uh, don't forget to watch out for more episodes coming up soon.